Welcome to the Sekonic C800 Spectrometer video series. The quest for lighter, smaller, and more efficient light sources has created new challenges in color quality control and interpretation of color for various cine and video productions. Matching the same and different light sources and knowing how to mix LED, plasma, HMI, fluorescent, tungsten, and daylight are essential for today's shooters. Sekonic Corporation, a light measurement leader for almost seven decades, is proud to provide the newest measurement tool that is designed to help you control the quality of light in any demanding lighting scenario. The new Sekonic Spectrometer C800 is a portable handheld spectrometer designed especially for cine, video, and still photography use. It measures every light source such as LED, fluorescent, tungsten, HMI, natural light, and even electronic flash. Utilizing Sekonic's CMOS linear image sensor and specifically developed software, the C800 can measure and display the spectrum of every light source with the precision and data display that you need. In this video, you'll learn how to get your C800 up and running and get a brief overview of its basic functions. Let's get started. Let's take a quick tour of the Sekonic C800. With its user-friendly design, the C800 Spectrumaster has a swivel measuring head that rotates 270 degrees and incorporates the CMOS linear sensor. In addition, the light receptor includes a light selection ring that provides settings for CAL, dark calibration without a cap. Sun flash icon, low ambient flash range, and flash H icon, high flash range. Moving down the meter, you'll notice the large 4.3 inch LCD color touchscreen, making it a breeze to navigate through all the major functions. From the LCD screen, let's move to the power button located on the left side of the meter, which turns the meter on and off. Directly below the power button is the memory button. The memory button, when pressed in the proper mode, stores up to 99 measured values for recall and review later. Memory titles can be edited in the C800 utility software included. In addition, memorized values can be saved between the meter and a computer easily. On the opposite side of the meter is the measure button, which when pressed takes the current measurement of the light source. Just below the LCD screen, you'll notice the menu button. This button always returns you to the display mode selection screen. Located on the bottom of the meter are two hidden connectors. The first is the Synchro PC terminal for use with electronic flash units. The second connector is a mini B USB port for connection to a computer for firmware updates and application software. On the back side of the C800 is a convenient quarter 20 threaded socket to attach various mounting solutions. Below the mounting socket is the battery compartment, which holds two AA batteries. First, let's install the batteries. Simply slide the battery door lock in the direction of the arrow and lift the battery cover off the meter. Insert two AA batteries into the battery compartment and replace the cover. Before powering on the C800, rotate the light selection ring so that it's aligned with the CAL dark calibration. Press and hold the power button until the screen displays the Sekonic logo startup screen, followed by the dark calibration in progress bar. The C800 Spectrum Master is ready to use when the text mode screen is displayed. Before we start measuring with the C800, it's very important to turn the light selection ring to either ambient, low flash, or high flash range. For most applications, we can select low range. Continuing our tour, let's take a look at the status bar. The status bar remains nested on the top area of most screens. It provides consistent status feedback of battery capacity, memory count, 
preset selections, temperature fluctuation warning, light selecting ring position, and key lock status. For your reference, you will notice that touch enabled icons always have a blue illuminated line below the icon. If an icon doesn't have the blue illuminated line, it is touch disabled. There are three different measuring modes. To change the measuring mode, touch the measuring mode icon in the upper left hand corner. On this screen, you can select ambient mode, cordless flash mode, cord PC flash mode. Let's choose ambient mode. Once you have made a selection, touch display returns you to the text screen. Now let's set the desired color temperature by touching the target color temperature button. This will take us to the setting screen. You can set the target from 2500 to 10,000 Kelvin. It's set for 5000 Kelvin now, but let's warm up the light a bit by selecting 4800 Kelvin. Then touch OK to lock in the target and return to the measuring screen. Right now, text mode screen is set to display color temperature, color correction number, illuminance, X, and Y values. As mentioned earlier, you can select what you want to display and even decide the order they appear. Simply touch the blue underline button to go to the display item selection library to choose what you want to appear. The first level deals with color temperature, filtration, brightness, new color rendering properties, and new color parameters. The second level lets you display color rendering index values. You will learn more about these in later videos, so let's use the default settings and take a measurement. Touch OK to return to the text mode screen. Now press the measure button to take a reading. You now know that the light being measured is 3,2100 Kelvin. The color correction number is 0.4 green, which means the light source is shifted slightly towards magenta. So to correct it, we need a green filter. The illumination is 6700 lux, and the X coordinate is 0.4349, and the Y coordinate is 0.4024, found on the CIE color space. These XY coordinates can be directly input into the color control system of popular LED panels. To learn more about the C800, watch the next video in this series.